of your life i sonar mayuri suryakant from elonic societies baramati college of pharmacy baranpur baramati today i am going to discuss a topic multipass heater under the guidance of professor shri krishna bagwar sir then points to be covered under this topics are principle figure construction working advantages disadvantages and uses then learning outcomes we should know the information about multipass heater that is principle construction working advantages disadvantages and uses of multipass heater then principle first point is in multipass heater the liquid velocity of the fluid can be increased as a result the heat transfer coefficient also increased here heat transfer coefficient means the heat transfer per unit area then second point is the liquid to be heated is passed through the tubes several times before leaving the equipment then construction first point is the construction of multipass heater is same as to the tubular heater here the multipass heater and tubular heater construction is same there is only one difference then second point is it consists of bundle of parallel tubes third is the tubes bundle is wrapped in cylindrical casing fourth is two distribution chambers are provided at each end of casing then in figure we see at a point h there is inlet cold fluid which are arranged in distribution chamber d2 and at a point i there is outlet hot fluid which are arranged in distribution chamber d1 at a point f there is a steam inlet at a point g there is a condensed outlet from which condensed vapors are drained out at a point k there is con- non condensed outlet from which non condensed vapors are drained fifth point under the construction is in order to facilitate this process distribution chambers are partitioned and their arrangement are different in two chambers and the entrance and exit points are arranged in same distribution chamber this is main difference in tubular and multipass heater here we see in figure there are two chambers right side distribution chamber and left side distribution chamber and there are compartment a b c d here there is inlet and outlet uh, point are arranged in same distribution chamber then working steam is introduced through the connection space into surrounding tubes steam is in introduced from the stream inlet then the fluid to be heated is pumped at high velocity into right distribution chamber through the compartment the fluid is entered at high velocity at in compartment a the liquid enters into compartment a and flows into the compartment b and again back to the right compartment and so on in the same sequence of alphabetical order here liquid is entered in in high velocity in compartment a and it flows in compartment b again it flows in compartment c in the same sequence of alphabetical order then next point in working is during this process fluid in the tube get heated due to heat transfer by conduction through the metal wall and finally by convection the liquid in the tubes is get heated due to conduction and then finally by convection thus the fluid passes back and forth through the several tubes and then leave the equipment hence this heater is called as multipass fluid in the tubes are move back and forth into several tubes and then leave the equipment 
Hence, it is called as multipass heater. Then, advantages and disadvantages. First, advantages. In multipass construction, decrease the cross section of the fluid path, thereby increase the fluid velocity. Then, disadvantages. First one is, the fabrication of multipass heater is more complicated. And second one is, more number of entrance and exit point increase the friction losses. This increase the cost of pumping of fluid. Then, uses. Multipass heater is used in process of heating, evaporation, condensation or cooling of product like oil or glycerin etc. Thank you.